Hey everybody, it's your boy Zero here for another Gunplay Review. Today's episode, we're covering the Gundam NT-1 Alex from, well, Gundam. This was the Earth Federation's first attempt at a new type machine. And seeing they knew little to nothing about new types at the time, they just overclocked everything and left this very powerful, but in the hands of a non-new type, completely uncontrollable machine. It's not like it would kill you out of control, but more like you are, would be basically bouncing around like a crazed person, trying to figure out how to get everything not to react so quickly. I picked up this dude at a friend's at New Type, along with, uh, I believe it was the Susanoo, which will be next week's episode. So if you want one of yourself, our friends at Galactic Toys do have it, so, you know, use my link down below, buy one, support the channel. And so let's get into this mobile suit. And yes, I will be doing two, basically, two reviews in one episode. I'm going to review the NC1 Alex with the armor and without the armor. So let's get into the review. Okay, so this is the Alex with everything that comes in box. The Alex, the NC1 Alex, including the armor on it. A sheet, a sheet of sticker style decals, a sticker sheet, the beam rifle with the holding hand attached, the shooting finger attached to it, the machine guns that go into each form, and of course the shield, and of oh, and of course the beam saber, much like. The gym, this is painted because it is one piece of plastic, not the hand, but the beam saber is just one piece of white plastic. So, yeah, so you may want to paint it. And by May, you're going to have to paint it. That is a downside. And also, you can't really use the shield or the beam rifle while wearing the armor. It is physically impossible to do both. And you can also, can't can also use the machine gun arms on the back of each arm while the armor is on it. So you're basically limited to beam saber. Which kind of sucks. Also, you do get two other beam sabers, but no effect parts. So that is a thing, so you should know. So we'll don't worry about this after I do the Alex with the armor on it. So yeah. The NC1 Alex is... Another Gundam variant, which is pretty cool. And the armor is supposed to give it added defense, but it also slowed it down because it made it heavier. So, yeah. I get the idea behind it, but at the long scheme, it would just been better if they either A, built, built it with the armor already on it, much like they did to the, I believe it was the Jim Cannon 2 or 3. I think it was the two had this armor already built onto it which made it technically lighter it gave it more defense and it made it lighter so beneficial also another problem with this there's a lot of color correcting stickers like let me use the beam saber here this piece here that's a sticker 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 and of course eyes cameras So, and of course, you know, the traditional spots that need stickers, that need colors around the face, namely the vents near the head. But, yeah, it's, it could be better when it comes to color correcting, and of course, needing to paint the bean saber to give it the right coloring. That's not always great. So, let's do the articulation with the armor on it, then I will... Take off the armor and we can then redo it with it off. So. Also. Yeah, the limbs aren't the strongest to attached. I don't know why. So you gotta be careful with moving the arms. They will pop off on you. Alright. We're good. So that's the arm fully bent. Don't worry. This will be the same with or without armor. That's the arm all the way up. The head is on a bullet joint. But you don't get a lot of movement out of it. 
No ab crunch. Due to the armor, you're not going to get a lot of visibility out of the front skirt. So that's like all the way up. And it all the way back. That's the knee fully bent. You get decent rotation on the ankle. So yeah, this chunky boy will not have a lot of posability with the armor on. To be fair, you're not going to get a lot of posability with the armor off, but it's going to be slight differences. So let's just get to the Alex without all the armor on it. See you guys in a second. Okay, now we're back. And here's the Alex with all the armor off. <sighs> As you can see, the arm is still kind of loose, so be very careful with it. It will pop off on you. So, that really does suck. So, again, be careful. And when putting the armor on, you have to actually separate the shoulders from the body a bit. So, that is an issue. That can be a problem, because the arms will pop off. Because they are on pegs. And not on ball joints, so they're not the sturdiest. And when you be careful when you're moving, the beam sabers will pop off out of the backpack if you're not careful because they're they're in there but not snugly. So also, if you notice right here, the beam saber top doesn't go all the way down. So yeah. But now that it's separated, we can talk about some of the positives and negatives. Again, like the back... Oop, I forgot the last piece. I, think I, I thought I got all the pieces. Nope. Yeah, okay. So let's move these out of the way. Oh, most of it. Keep the machine guns. Yeah. Again, the armor can just slide as the camera shakes. Okay. Like, right here, in the back verniers, these are supposed to be yellow. Based on the the instructions. So, you need to paint those. The vents here and here. Those are supposed to be yellow inside. Right up. Thank you, Beam Saber, for being here. I need you. Right here and right here are also supposed to be yellow. So, yeah. You're going to need a lot of yellow paint. So, the only real change in the articulation is one legs you can kick a little higher so that's a positive and you have a bit of an up crunch now other than that the articulation really stays the same so let's do about the stuff we actually came to see the machine gun so you just pop off the blue part in the back of the head the back of the arms I mean on the hands it was so much easier to do this off camera but as soon as I do it on camera nope Arms do not want to agree with me. Yep, you pop that off. Take a machine gun. This part here attaches right here. So you just pop that down. Make sure the curved pieces are facing this joint right here. There you go. Machine gun. And then you can pop the shield on the other arm if necessary. Well, there goes the leg. So yeah, the legs have the same issue as the arms. The limbs will fall off on you. So be careful with that. Let's see if I can get the shield on this time. Alright. And the limb. And. Oh, there goes the arm. So yeah, so technically you can get the, and now the arm won't come out. 
So technically, yes, you can get the shield on, but it is a struggle. And there's a good chance your arm will literally pop off to do so. So, not great. So, and of course, you can swap out the hands because it's a ball joint, but it only goes on the left hand. There you go. So, yeah, there you go. And it can stand on its own weight, which is great if the limbs don't pop off on you. So, yeah. Decently solid build. Not great articulation. So let's just wrap up this review and get to the summary. Okay, so good news is it's an okay kit. So if you want to continue the Gundams from the Universal Century line, you like the movie slash special that this came out on, because it fought the Kempfer. I think so far the Kempfer is the best thing out of that movie. Both in, the, in IRL and in the series, because it's just awesome and it's stable. Then, yeah, I say get this. But if you are cautious and you want to be careful about, you know, guns with loose parts and stuff like that, then I wouldn't technically recommend this. Because, with, as you saw, the legs just pop off on occasion. And if you do too much posing with the arms, they will pop off on you. The beam sabers will stay in there for the most part, but there's a good chance they could fall out if you're moving it too much or if you have it at an angle that, you know, it's not upright. So, yeah. And, of course, you have to do a lot of painting to fix it. The armor does hamper some of the posability. But, to be fair... When I got this, I didn't even think it came with the armor. I just thought it was just the Gundam itself. But I was pleased to see when I was looking at the sides of the box and go, Oh, it comes with the armor. I only thought that was only going to come in the Master Grade version. So there is a small surprise with that. So it does work. And if it, you want to do like a diorama piece with this thing, it is stable enough that you can do something like that. So don't let it being blocky and you know, chunky in its armor form to deter you from getting it. And worst case scenario, you can always glue up the joints. It will never pose again, but it won't fall apart on you. Like I said, I got this at our friends at newtype.us, but you can also find them at our friends at Galactic Toys. So if you want one for yourself, use the link down below for Galactic Toys. Support the channel. Uh... Other than that, I'll see you guys on Friday with another custom build episode. Uh, it's going to be the God Strike Gundam I created. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on Friday. And remember, all of you are awesome. All of you are loved. And have a nice week. Catch you guys later. Peace.